takes 12 hours to cross. Well, that's hour angles, and each hour up there is an hour angle. So all you need to operate this telescope is an inkling of where it is in a north-south direction. The declination up there is at about 18 degrees now. And you need to know what time it is. So you know at 11.45 it'll be there. I'm having trouble with the wine. It's getting on the floor and not in my mouth. <laughs> uh, it's just a matter of subtracting how many hours it is between, and minutes between 11.45 and now. And we'd be able to see it. And then we track it and we turn the dome every few minutes. The shutters are closed right now, but I'm about to turn on a motor at ground level. And you will see the entire dome turning. You ready? All of this built between 1895 and 1897. Except the telescope. Yes, take a look, but not the desk. Take a look at the dome. <laughs> There it goes. But even more impressive, wow. and we have to turn it on every 15 minutes to keep the opening in front of the telescope. Even more impressive is, uh, impressive is the fact that this elevator floor, more than 25 people on it right now, so we hope it doesn't crash. <laughs> Luckily, we have a few people that are lighter than average. Unfortunately, they're unbalanced by the people that are heavier than average, but I think we can do the floor. So listen carefully to the wonderful sound effects. I turn on a motor at ground level. The, those towers go right through the balcony down uh -huh. And the highest the floor can go is the balcony up there. Here it goes. Switch. <laughs> if I get a heart attack and my finger freezes, it'll keep going. And luckily, I can say, oh my. <laughs> so we take it as high as we need to, depending on where the bottom is, the length of an if any, and the height of the astronomer. Mm -hmm. But of course, the same astronomer is using it, and he's generally speaking the same height at all times. <laughs> <laughs> and he's only taking pictures of those clusters of stars. So now the only question you have to ask is, why do we have Spider-Man up there? <laughs> if you uh, noted in one of the newspapers lately, there seems to be uh, an idea that Yerkes has been sold. Luckily, the University of Chicago told us just today that we can continue to do special programs such as this through the end of 2007. But we really don't know what's happening after that. Tonight, as well as being an Argonne event and Fermilab, we also have a big meeting in Williams Bay, at which time the Mirbeau people, the people that want to build a 100-room spa, and 77 homes completely surrounding the observatory. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna save that straight road and the elliptical path, but on all sides of the elliptical. 